Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we got ourselves a new piece of hardware. We got an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard to test out. We're gonna troubleshoot this thing. We're gonna get it running. But first, let's spin that intro. All right, we're back. So this is the ASRock H110 Pro BTC motherboard, and these things were super popular, super high in demand on the last bull run. These things were going upward of the price of uh, almost up to a grand. People were crazily buying these during the bull run when everything was hard to get. But my man, Redbeard, he runs the Lunch Money Discord, and if you don't know what that is, it is a cook group, and it gets you all the best deals, all the best drops, it gets freebies, it gets sneakers, it gets tickets, it gets all the great stuff. I'll put a link down in the description for that group. Um, and uh, he sent me this, he, he said it was not working, at least that's what a customer told him. He got out of mining, he no longer wants to deal with the hassle of it, so he sent it over to me. We're gonna troubleshoot this thing, and we're gonna see if it uh, actually is gonna work, or if the buyer just lied to him. And so yeah, he sent it over, it just had the Intel, a cheap Intel CPU in there, and just like you see it, except it didn't have the cooler on it, I went ahead and cleaned the CPU, I threw some of my favorite MX4 thermal paste on there, and then I went ahead and slap the cheap cooler on there. We're gonna hook it up right here. We're gonna test it. We're gonna see if it boots the BIOS. I have a feeling there's really nothing wrong with this and the buyer uh, just decided not to pay the high price of these when he bought it and then sent it back. But we're gonna find out and uh, if it's working, we may do a build with this one in the future because it really is a reliable uh, mining motherboard. Currently, I love the ASRock Q270 Plus. That's my favorite mining motherboard. And these things can be got as low as less than 100 bucks now. And I'll make sure to put some links down in the description for my favorite motherboard. Let's go ahead and pop one up on the screen. I also did a detailed review on that. You can watch the video up there. Back then, they were selling for almost $300. So yeah, times are changing, but you gotta get ready, man. The mining is coming back and these prices are gonna start shooting up if mining really does take off, if GPU mining goes back into the bull run. On, all this stuff's going to skyrocket along with it but i digress let's slap this on let's put it on a box let's get a, our workstation set up let's uh let's go ahead and do it panda style we ready cool and we're back just like magic baby we're all set up so what i did was i took my board here and i went ahead and hooked up a power supply I had to break out a new power supply a new new power supply this is a b-stock power supply from evga that i bought uh, probably two years ago and never actually even broke the seal to today. So this is a 650. I believe it's just a bronze cheapo. Um, sometimes I'll power the rig with just a cheap ATX and then use a server power supply for all the GPUs. So these work really well for those instances. So yeah, I got that. And then we went ahead and hooked to our monitor. I had to use an adapter. I had a DVI to a DVI-D to a VGA. This is just a cheaper VGA monitor threw in my um, keyboard and mouse, put in a little power switch. You can just use a jumper and jump the two, or you can use one of the little momentary uh, push button toggles that just slide right into the power switch. But this is off of an old motherboard. So yeah, it's all hooked up and uh, let's see if it will post. So there's power on the power supply and let's see what happens here. CPU fan starts spinning as soon as I clicked, clicked the button in. So let's see if we get any kind of a display. Let's see if we can get into the BIOS. Oh, that looks promising. Keyboard's flashing. Keyboard's flashing and boom. Just like that, we did hit the BIOS. We are showing the ASRock UEFI, the H110 Pro BTC Plus, Intel Celeron. It's a G3930, really cheapo Celeron. But that's all you need on some of the older, um, on the older board, you slap in a cheap Celeron and then you let the GPU do all the work. Um, and then it is showing that it has 16 gigabyte of RAM on this single stick with a 265, 256 megabyte shared memory, single channel. Um, yeah, so it's showing my DDR4, it went right into the BIOS. I have a feeling that this board is absolutely nothing wrong with it and uh, that the guy just didn't want to pay the high price. So we're gonna do a little more testing with this thing. I think what we'll do is go ahead and 
maybe we'll put a BIOS on there or we'll just go ahead and hook a GPU up, make sure that we're getting a image out. Um, we're gonna just go through all the settings on here, make sure that everything looks right, but I, I think this is a perfectly good motherboard and I think maybe we'll build a rig with it, but uh, we'll come right back here in a few minutes after we do some more testing and we'll tell you how it's going, let's go. Well, we're back. This looks like it's gonna be a short video. This tested out perfect. This thing's running 33 watts uh, at the wall. I've got a nice meter box down here hooked onto the side of the table. Um, that's with nothing on it. Went through all the settings, changed it to onboard graphics instead of the using PCIe, which if you're mining, you want the graphics to come from your cheap CPU and not to pull from your PCIe slots because it will take just a slight bit of your hash rate away. I made sure uh, 4G uh, in, in uh, 4G encoding was enabled and I messed with some of the BIOS settings. I tested the RAM, the RAM's working fine. Um, I did slap in a 2070 EVGA Super, I believe this is a black edition, and uh, fired it up and it started mining right away in Hive. So. I, and unless there's something wrong with one of the single other PCIe slots, which sometimes on a motherboard they do get a little loose in there and uh, your, your, connect, your riser might not have a good connection and your GPU might disconnect. But I really don't think there's anything wrong with this motherboard and the CPU and RAM combo. It's a really cheap stick of 16 gigabyte DDR4. It's only a 2133 megahertz, but that's all you need for this kind of a rig and this kind of a build. So yeah, I, I think this is a score. I think it's a, a solid board and I think it's gonna work just fine. And uh, I just wanna say a shout out to my man Redbeard again from Lunch Money. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description for his Discord. And uh, yeah, I think we need to go start building a new rig. We need to uh, get a few more parts. We only have four extra GPUs laying around right now. So yeah, we got 12 slots in here. So we're gonna have to gain some more GPUs and build some more rigs. It's mining time, baby. Mining is back. Let's take a quick look at this setup and then we'll go ahead and cut out of here. Well, there you have it. That about wraps it up for today. It was a short one, but it was a productive one. If you're new to mining and need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of seasoned vets in there always willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.